Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll look in the scenario in which India gets partitioned by China, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Myanmar, and Sri Lanka. So if any of these nations could team would team up, like Bhutan, Bhutan doesn't even recognize China. So yeah, or the Republic of China, nor the People's Republic, with them all declaring war after an agreement. After they decide to partition India in the Beijing Treaty. Yep, a Beijing Treaty. And they all declare war on India. Luckily, India is prepared. What do I mean by that? India will have the advantage at first. We will give them that. Because, well, they take out Sri Lanka. They manage to take out Bangladesh quickly. They move into... Myanmar, and they move up into Bhutan, taking nothing, Nepal, taking nothing, into southern Pakistan, taking Karachi and all of its coast. But this is where it starts turning against India. India will resist as much as they can as they move slowly into northern India, slowly over here. As liberations of lands held by India's troops, India has pushed back out of Karachi, pushed back from Myanmar and even into southern Bangladesh. With soon the fall being here and it being pretty bad as well, India's losing a lot of land quickly too. But don't be fooled by this. They will launch a counter-offensive. Because they're not going down fast. They need to go through all their manpower first, too. With the move in by Nepal's troops along with China and Bangladesh. With the front line becoming bigger and in India launches a major counter-offensive. Liberating lands near their capital. Near the coast. And all of Bangladesh gains. Making the Bangladesh front this front stall out. But with a big offensive being made up here. Because this is near the capital. Which is a bit further south. India seeing them getting close to the capital. Makes another counter offensive. Pushing them back to China's border. So Nepal continues their offensive. As they're trying to get behind India's line. India sees that they're trying to get behind their front lines and push back. Counter-offensive is what they call that. And then they take Sri Lanka. And, well, Sri Lanka is lost again. Not again, it's lost once. But for an opposite team, so technically it's lost twice. With a pushback, recapturing the capital. I didn't realize I gave them the capital. With a new plan being go around the capital with Pakistan with the help of Nepal does. India launches a counter offensive to try to get back to the capital. But they don't. They get so close but they don't achieve what they want. And this counter offensive fails and the morale of India starts falling. Well, it's not that bad. Until now, when it's landed here and the morale gets even lower. Although the government managed to escape to Mumbai. Mumbai is being used as a temporary capital. As India starts losing more and more land, they launch their final counter-offensive because they're, like, out of manpower because of this, and nobody's sending them supplies, too. And most of their infrastructure for making these supplies they would use is destroyed. But India re... not retaking. Taking... Sri Lanka back and taking southern Myanmar and launch a counter offensive in the north. They're trying to slow the fall of India, but India is going to fall. With offenses staring on both coasts, with revolts happening throughout this front line, with revolutionaries probably revolting within these occupied lands and everything. Well, unfortunately, at this point, India is a shell of its former self. With most of its population gone, because a lot of it lives in the north and on the coasts. Well, the north is losing population. The south is growing, I believe, in India. 
Don't know for sure, but I think it is. With India saying, just stop. Leave the country at once to all the invaders, but none of them listen. India falls. This is a sad day. Except this pocket of the Indian army in Bhutan. Which, unfortunately, manages to collapse. Let's see how we partition India. Let's see how they did. Was it like the thumbnail, or did they partition it differently? Let's see. Scenario if they fully partition the country, with all the nations gaining lots of land. But I want to look into another scenario within this video where it's not fully partitioned. A more reasonable, moderate partition. Where if right takes a small piece of land, Bangladesh takes all of the Bengal regions. And China expands, Pakistan expands. Pretty much most nations don't get much, like Bhutan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka, and Myanmar, because they couldn't control much. Kind of like the partition of Africa, I guess. They went by who could control what. Obviously, Britain could control all of it. That's pretty much all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Wild Mapper out. Banandali subscribe. Bye, guys.